folks, we are about to enter the reserve. So, once again, twin data, let's go. Stanley Crane. If you look close, there's a little black animal hiding on the bushes. That tree back there. And that is a yellow back diker. <laughs> Has a kind of a yellow stripe on its back. They get that name because they dive head first in the undergrowth from any animals that might be after them. Oh, and to the left, there's a few pink back there. Look at the lighting the roadside. And behind them are some really large black rhino. Each of these animals can get up to about one and a half tons. And their height is about an inch thick. That almost makes them seem indestructible, but they've been hit so hard by poaching, only about 2,500 remain. We love to hear them. Roger, one. We'll do. Over. I thought it was over to the right. There was a hippo. But if you look, there's a few more hippos on the bank. There's even one in the water. And look, there's a little baby over there to the right. Oh, and there's a couple of youngsters over to the left on the island. Now, when born, babies weigh anywhere between 50 and 100 pounds. Now the adults, they'll get up to about 5,000 pounds, which is the reason why they spend most of their time in the water. If they didn't, the large bodies would almost overheat. Now they can stay submerged for up to about 8 minutes before coming up for any air. Elephants and lions. Wow. I see you down. 
out there. You are in bush country. Drive carefully. I don't want to bump into my animals. You should begin to see a wide variety of grass-eating animals around you, such as Thompson's gazelle. <laughs> Miss Jobson, no one in Africa calls them Thompson's gazelle. They are Tobies. Tobies. Over. Well, thanks, guys. And over to the right, folks, those chocolate color animals are sable antelope. And for you folks over on the left side, there's a sable antelope on the left as well. They, their horns kind of curve backwards, and they get anywhere between about 50 and 60 inches in length. Now, folks, please remain seated at all times because the roads are very bumpy through here. And elephants yeah, like to use left. them as scratching posts. And when they're worn down, they're still useful because forest antelope that we just saw, such as the sable, and little Tomsky of the gazelles, like to use them as a lookout post for any lion that might be trying to have. And the tall grass that you see around here. stripe on their side. Now on a long stretch though they can outrun a lion. They can get to about 60 miles per hour. And the larger sandy color animals are Patterson's Elan, which are the largest of the forest antelope. And back on the hillside those great animals are white bearded wildebeest. And if you look a little far there's also a reticulated giraffe on the hillside which stands about 20 feet tall, anywhere between about 18 and 20. Now their tongues are actually 18 inches long, just so they can reach all the trees that you see around here. Now over to the right up on the hillside there, I'm a little better from this angle, those little, little animals lying down are impalas. They're a two-tone color animal. Uh, they can jump straight up in the air from a standing position about 10 feet. And once they get going, they can take about a 25 feet leap forward. Now folks, we are beginning to move into elephant country. Some white pelicans over to the right side. Oh, and there's some mandrel baboons over to the left. If you look on top of the tree stump, there's one way back. And look over from the left side, kind of diagonal by this tree on the grass. they cute. Now we have two famous reds that they're gonna check in. I'm Simba Wonder Wilson. Any clues to wear about some big red and a little red today? Over. I have not seen them today. Try the red clay pit. Big Red is the elephant matriarch of the reserve's herd. She gave birth a while ago to a new calf. He just bathed in the same red clay pit oh. as his mama. So I name him Little Red. Elephants are wonderfully social creatures. They have moods, sympathies, and emotions. Over. Oh, thanks, guys. Folks, it looks like we're gonna have to cross another bridge back here. Which isn't looking too good. Folks, do me a favor and cross your fingers and kind of hang on tight there. Fingers crossed. 
This is not sand until you get either, is it? Uh-oh. Oh, this is getting the hang on! Oh. Uh, now, I'm shocked and I didn't see any crocodiles underneath that bridge, so that's definitely a good thing. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything over there. I'm talk to somebody about that bridge. Ooh. We're gonna need another one, too. Um, it's the moment of Wilson. We're at the red place, and there's a lot of tusk marks and a lot of footprints. I don't see big rat anywhere, and the bridge, you need to work on that. Over. Uh, folks, we are headed east over to the watering hole. We'll see what's going on over there. I have to report back to base. Well, that was Slava Wilson. We'll try to pick you up whenever we can. Now, folks, there are lots of elephants over here. It's going to be some great views. A couple of twin baobab trees to the right. Uh, that's a giraffe, too. I'm trying to radio on him. We can just troll this man over here. Yes. Well, if you look to the right, there's a couple of giraffes and a wildebeest as well. There's a gorgeous view of a baobab tree reflected at the watering hole. There's another oh. elephant just over the hillside to the left. Up ahead of here are some pretty ladies at the pool. Folks, these are greater flamingo. Oh, there's also another giraffe over to the right, just up in the trees. And the little Thompson's gazelle, too, hiding out. Oh, and if you look just over the flamingo pool, of elephants back there. Looks like you have to stand up. Now the flamingos are actually born a grayish color and they turn pink with all the food that they eat. Lots of shrimp and lots of food high vitamin A and beta carotene. Hold on Wilson. Okay, you can go ahead now. Okay. Call, call I brought a report about a vicious gym this week for me. Keep a lookout for it. Roger Wilson, then oh, opening up between those trees there. Yeah, looks like there's there. some rhinos lying yeah. down back there. Yeah. 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 I can't really tell if those are black or white rhinos. Yeah. There's a difference. The black rhinos we saw earlier have a hook on their mask. You can barely see them in the opening of those trees there. Of course, while we're straining, trying to look at some rhino, we won't have to strain to look at these guys here. Oops, there's a couple of cheetahs on the hillside to the left. And they are walking around back there. See Way back in those trees. Uh, cheetahs are the fastest land animals running up the speeds of about 70 miles per hour. And you can only keep it up for a quarter of a mile though because it takes so much energy out of them. Now uh, to the right, those little brown animals on the other side, those are more gazelle. Uh, gazelle means bright eyed and the more gazelles are considered the most beautiful of all the gazelles. On the coast of the diagonal to the left, there's another cheetah lying down back there. So relaxing on a Saturday morning back there. Now, Wilson's kind of pretty concerned about a Jeep or something like that. I haven't really seen anything so far, so I don't know if there's really anything we should worry about. Now, simple one to Wilson, where are the coffees? And there's nothing suspicious going on over here. Over. Uh, okay, Simba one, but keep your eyes open for anything unusual. Over. Uh, Roger, Wilson, both to the left, there's a couple of lions up there. 
sleeping, it looks like. The only the lines have that thick mane of hair around his neck. The feet and mouth does not. Now, they're actually worse than half cats. They sleep anywhere between about 18 and 20 hours out of the day. Another view of the poor gazelle to the right. Over to the right, those white animals with the long horns, those are scimitar horn orcs. You can barely tell their horns stick straight up into the air, about 45 inches in length. Pretty sharp, too, there. Uh, we're just going to make our way around the cup. You can't really tell, but the male lion can get up to about 8 feet long. Above looks like there's some large burrows up ahead. They've got to be warthog burrows. And they are the largest burrow animal, but I don't see any right now. What do I hear? There are high reporters in the reserve. They shot Big Red. She is wounded. What about Little Red? No word yet. Where was he last seen? Magadi Gold. Okay, you head there. Roger. I am landing at Magadi Road, block of the east end. If you come in from the west, we could trap them. Please, Simba One, we need your help. Okay, folks, to the right, there was an ostrich back there, and I, I can't really tell if it was a male or a female, because it sounds like there's some trouble going on in the reserve. Oh, if you look to the left, there's a couple of warthogs sleeping over there. That's where they were trying to hide out. But unfortunately, folks, we need to go help somebody. So is everyone up for helping Wilson stop some poachers this morning? Yeah. All right, Wilson, you can count us in. Um, Simple Wonder Wilson, we're at the crossroads and this gate's been smashed through. What's going on over there? Keep going, Simple Wonder. We are starting now. Uh -oh. Folks, that does not sound so good. We are leaving the reserve to keep your eyes open and hang on to those kids. Will do, Wilson. Isn't this just a confidence on here, folks? We're in some geysers or something. Wait a second. Uh oh. That sounds like the poachers. Uh oh. Everybody, you might want to hang on here. Ooh, watch out to the left over there. I'm gonna believe this is the poacher's cap. Such rhino horns, there's ivory everywhere. Oh, but that fire's still smoking, so they couldn't have gotten too far. Oh, and folks, it looks like we got him. Warden tap Big Red, she'll be fine. Oh, Warden, is Little Red safe? Great job, there's Little Red in the back of the truck, please. I have to use a baby elephant back to his father. I'll start this, Adam. Goodbye, simple one, and thank you. Well, we are so glad we could be of help today. I'm Asante Sana, everyone. Thanks for helping save the little red and, of course, the big red. Uh, this is definitely a very interesting. That's my very adventure. Like we made it though, folks. I'm gonna make my way around and drop you off out of the board's post once again. Keep your things up for you. I just got dropped off at. From there, you can take a quick left and take a short walk into Bangani Forest Exploration Trail. Very good. Throw a little bit harder though, so as I reach the far. Wait, wait till he's ready. Very good. <laughs>